Ave Maria Purissima, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In today's Gospel, we see uh, St. John the Baptist, who's being held in prison before he's beheaded, sending his disciples to Christ to ask him, are you he that is to come, or do look, would you look for another? Now, when we hear that, we might think that St. John didn't know who our Lord is. But he did. Certainly, he left in the womb at the visitation when Our Lady went to see him. So what, the, what is this all about? Well, St. Hilary of Poitiers, St. John Chrysostom are, are doctors of the church, also St. Cyril of Alexandria, doctors of the church, as recorded by the great Cornelius of Lapidae, all point out the same thing. That John the Baptist knew full well who our Lord was. He wasn't sending them to find out who our Lord was because he knew. He was sending them to make sure the disciples recognized clearly who the Lord was and that after he was beheaded and gone, they didn't stay somehow faithful to his memory without going and following Christ themselves and set up basically their own sect. That they realized that Christ is the Messiah that St. John had, point, that had pointed out and that he was the one. And they heard it from his very mouth. And uh, that's why St. John the Baptist said it to him. But it's one of the things that we should check our own heart. What do we really think of the Christ? In our society, certainly, he bears very little much more significance than a swear word. But what is he to us? What is Christ to us? What difference does he make in our day-to-day -day lives? in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds. That's something we should all look at very carefully. What is Christ to me?